We know, we know, I own an Endgame yellow tofu. That's what the E stands for. So in today's video, I actually recreate this Endgame tofu. A few things went wrong. There were eight steps in today's video, and one of those steps features our video sponsor, KMod. We'll talk about more. We'll talk more about them in a second. Eight steps. Let's go. Step one, buy the P yellow tofu. That shit sold out, man. Like y'all bought all of them. It's been sold out for a while. I've been checking for the memes and uh, y'all did work. Y'all did work. Screwed me up because I needed to make this video. And unfortunately you gotta get the inferior color, the E white. Same, same. E white, E yellow, who can tell the difference? Step two, the stock PCB isn't really compatible with gummy O-ring. One of the community helpers, David, thank you, donated the PCB to us. I'm gonna slip a 20 in his pocket later. So now we got the case. Now we got the PCB. Now we need a plate. The plate I used the original corn right here. This plate is from PLB, Pigeons Like Bread. Unfortunately, it costs a little bit too much money, so we didn't go with that. We actually got the plate from the Kib Defense, and they don't have like a full carbon fiber plate. They have definitely a copium one. It's skinny. It looks like a J string for plates. Honestly, there's more air in the plate than there is plate. The other option, David actually sent us a regular old FR4 plate. So during the build stream, I let the chat decide. And of course, they chose the freaking underwear plate, man. Step four, there's a theme of stealing on my channel. Steal the tape from the kindergartners. That was mostly it. I'm stealing a gummy O-ring from myself because I didn't want to pay for shipping from Cannon Keys. Step five, we only got three more. Wait, five, six, seven, eight. We only got four more steps. Keycaps. So this is a copium corn. Let's go with copium keycaps. I actually miss GMK Calf. GMK Cafe is not coming back. So let's get something that's copium. Mel Geek keycaps. This is called the MCR Horseman. Go with E White, put it together. I honestly got these from Monster Gears. Thank you for supporting the channel by sending us some keycaps to test. I was actually gonna put this on the E Yellow Tofu. And uh, orange and yellow don't go together, bro. Like honestly, <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. The legends are a little bit different. The fonts are different, but it feels pretty good for ABS and they have a lot of options. They're cheap, affordable, easy to buy. So go check them out, links in the description. Step six, with gummy o-ring build, you can't use Duroc stabilizers. Screw and stabilizers don't really work with the space bar as well as the backspace. So use TX stabs because TX stabs are number one. Okay, they're cheap, they're easy to install. They don't need holy mod, which takes up time. And you can just use 205G0. You don't gotta mess with that XHD BDZ stuff. If you commission me for a build and then you ask me to holy mod, I die a little inside. Let's just use TX stabs. People have asked me on stream before, TX stab versus stabies. Stabies, you need a mod still. TX stab is just snap in, go. The only drawback to TX stabs is you gotta make sure you know what thickness of PCB you're using. They have a 1.2 millimeter as well as a 1.6 millimeter. So if you use a 1.6 millimeter, TX stab on a thin, flexible 1.2 millimeter PCB. You're gonna have a bad time because the stabilizer will move a little bit and it'll end up ticking. My garage is open and I swear someone's gonna pop out from under it and just rob me. Rob me blind and take my corn. I mean my tofu. That's seven. Build montage, baby. The board was kind of smacking before we put on the feet. Oh, come on. Listen to this, listen. I don't know why, but uh, the Tofu 60's weaknesses really became apparent when we put on the bump on feet. Yeah, so once we raise the, the board off of the table, you can hear case pain. And uh, Tofu 60 is a board that you need to modify a lot. Typically people do shelf liner, some kind of case foam at the bottom. Uh, PCB foam will work well with this as well. Fortunately, we're doing gummy O-ring, so we can't use these rubber condoms. So we gotta modify it in other ways. The Bakaneko 60 from Canon Keys, a lot of people have been using tape, paper towel, which is odd, but it works. It's tofu boards, their weakness is kind of a little bit of a metallic thing, hollowness. Uh, that's kind of like the main difference between a unicorn and a tofu. Cheaper boards like the Bakaneko and the tofu are gonna need a little bit more help. The unicorn has a brass weight holding it down. Filling in that space is heavier, it's heftier, and it sounds more full. But yeah, for some reason, these bump-ons just made it, oh man, one of them fell off. No one told me. I would just run this without bump-ons. At the end of the day, with the finished build, the thin carbon fiber plate, as well as the fact that it is a tofu case, somehow the inks in here here sounded deeper than they did in the unicorn. I hear more of the gummy o-ring sound out of the corn here than I do here in the your mama said we had one at home. Yeah that is much deeper. Is it bad? Not necessarily. It sounds great in my opinion. It has more of that inky sound whereas the unicorn it's much higher pitched almost a little bit annoying. The Tofus need modding. They're like the Honda Civics. If you go ahead and get the Copium Corn, also known as the Tofu 60s. But Andy, isn't it built? What is step eight? Well, step eight is we compare. 
Okay, do we have Endgame here? You have my pea yellow corn at the top. You have the Tofu 60 at the bottom, right? One is sharper. This is way sharper. This is more rounded. But they're basically the same picture. Can you tell the difference? I can't, I can't. But you know what would make this end game material, make this an end game keyboard? Something from our sponsor, CableMod. We got a custom slimline cable, color match to the copium corn, the e-white unicorn, but not really, kind of corn. Check that out, baby. You can buy custom USB cables from CableMod. They even featured a new PVD finish to their slimline connectors. And let's say you don't like the customs, you want something basic. They do sell cheaper, more affordable options on Amazon. It's much easier to buy. Two days on Amazon, easy peasy. They used to do the aviator with the coiled cable, but now they're offering something new in case you're not stuck in 2020, 2021 with the coiled cables. You can actually go ahead and get a straight line cable because sometimes you want that minimal aesthetic. You don't want the coil anymore. Check them out. Use my link in the description to Support your boy. The boys over at Cable Mod, just let me know via DM just now. There is a 20% off code on the global store for custom cables, Keep 20 Keep 20 Thank you for Cable Mod for sponsoring this video. Cause step eight is I gotta give this bad boy away with the cable, all right? All you gotta do is click the link in the description below. Gleam.io, you know the deal. We do this all the time. But I wanna take a moment to thank the community. I wanna thank you all for sticking with me, sticking by me for the past two years, three years, because I've gone through a lot of stuff. That's why I do these mental health uh, charity streams so frequently. I've been dealing with a lot. My life's been changing a lot, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of downs. And the community has been the backbone to give me motivation to keep going, to keep streaming, to keep making content, to keep interacting with people, and to do good with the opportunity I've been given. And I really wanna especially thank the patrons and the YouTube channel members, especially when things have gone south for me. Y'all stepped up and really supported, and it helped me keep going. We made it happen. My little slice of the internet, my community, Wing Nation, is number one. I appreciate you all. And thanks for always watching the videos. And you can see the patrons and YouTube channel members' names here. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.